Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Toy YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it's surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys before you leave. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different Toy and you come and learn about your girl and what's going on. And speaking of coming and learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, small business owner of my own a business third eye entertainment llc a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate inspire and entertain all at once so again first second third time or more it don't matter just hit that subscribe button for you girl yeah all right you guys so today is thursday first week in 2024 like i said we're gonna try to end this one uh give you guys uh content every day of the week for the first week at least <laughs> of this month uh and with that being said you guys know on thursdays we do our pop culture all Movie, re movie review and so this one's going to be uh with the aquaman 2 and the lost kingdom uh just came out last month and uh, i think it was what the 20 december 22 uh 2022nd whatever <laughs> last year and um i got a chance to go and check it out and so now i want to share with you guys my thoughts and review on it as well as my score of the movie and as well as uh little issues on a personal matter <laughs> with uh, this herd uh but you guys know how i do with my movie reviews before i get into it i'd like to share with you guys the movie trailer and so with that being said check out the movie trailer uh for aquaman 2 and the lost kingdom and then when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in different swirl and my thoughts and opinion on the movie yep here it is Coming there. Four years ago, I was basically unemployed. A wanderer with no home. But now, I'm a husband and a father. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know how you did it, Pops. My job was a little less stressful than yours. Oh yeah, I finally got a job. I'm the king of Atlantis. Half a billion people from every known species in the sea call this place home. But that doesn't mean they all like me. I'm gonna kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. I'm gonna murder his family and burn his kingdom to ash. He must be stopped, or a global meltdown is imminent. I think I know someone I might be able to help us. Ooh, you look rough. Good job, little brother. High five. Do not call me, brother. I cannot believe you let this happen. Yeah, well, I hate this job. True King built bridges, right? True King builds bridges. <laughs> we need to find Manta. He's different now. He's stronger than before. It's the Black Trident. During King Atlan's time, there were seven kingdoms. King the Trident was a curse upon them all. Trident's dark magic is spreading. He means to end the bloodline. I don't know what lies ahead, but we can't leave our children in a world without hope. You're not as bad at this as you think. If you lead, the Seven Kingdoms will follow. Hi, baby boy. Talking to the fishies? You and me, son, we're different. We're special. We're connected to the land and the sea. I can't wait to introduce you to all the majestic creatures on our planet and show you how awesome this world can be. Yeah, you and me. I'm gonna kill Aquaman. Even if I have to make a deal with the devil to do it. Free me from my prison and all my power will be yours. The key to this prison is the royal bloodline itself. 
He needs us. We're the end of the bloodline. No, we're not. Yeah! Manta took Junior. He must be stopped. I'm coming for you. destroy everything he holds dear. You want blood? Come get it! Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Tickets on sale now. Ready PG-13. Only in theaters December 22nd. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy looking at the movie trailer for Aquaman 2, starring my boy Jason Momoa with his fine ass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Couldn't cancel me if y'all tried. But in any case, yes, starring uh, Jason Momoa, uh, opposite uh, Amber Heard, you guys. She was the lady lady last movie, and I kind of feel like they dimmed her light with this one. And they definitely, I can tell, they made uh, some changes all due to the scandal that she was involved with with boy Johnny Depp. Big shout out to him, but you know, I feel like with her, they they um they they giving her the rundown man like you know it, it, shit shit happens and it neither one of them was innocent that's how I look at it and so that's how it goes with life we gotta move on and stop holding grudges so I feel like with how they had her set up with her character she wasn't in it as long as she was in the first one and she basically you can tell she was a late leading lady but wasn't as important uh, they more so focused on uh, the back end with uh, Aquaman's nemesis. Uh, what's the old boy's name back in the movie? Uh, Black Mantis, but his name is Yaya Abdul Mateen. So big shout out to him as well. He looked cutie pie too. He did his thing uh, reprising his role as Black Mantis um, and coming back and he found, I guess he was on the hunt, of course, get revenge for his dad's death. And he found, came upon like the, the Black Trident from uh, the Necros King. What's that dude that was uh, that's in Game of Thrones? You guys know his name. Drop his name in the uh, comments below. I think I would, Johan or something? Yeah, drop his name, you guys. I don't remember it, but he played the Necro King. And uh, who else was in there uh, that knew some new faces? Uh, India Moore was in it. Uh, the lady that was on um, Pose, she was in it. She played Karshan. Uh, I like how they had, you know, all the animalistic characters uh, put in it, uh, the movie. Uh, one thing I, I didn't like as well is when they had Volko, what happened to him? Why uh, wasn't William Defoe in that? He was pretty big in the last one. And so they, they killed off his character saying that, you know, he died due to some type of water poisoning or whatever. But I just thought that was weak. They should have, you know, had some clips of it or explained it. But I'll do a little bit more research and find out why he wasn't in that. But if you guys know why, again, drop your comments below as to why they didn't have old boy uh, William in or uh, whatever the case may be. You know, I love a good little tea spill. So let your girl know what's going on with that. Uh, what else, you guys? What, what, what other score would I give to it? Um, overall, of course, you know, the movie was action-packed. Had a lot of fight scenes. Uh, this time they had more army men of the Little Mantis or whatever, so a lot of more underwater fights and scenes and things, a lot of explosions or whatever. Um, like I said, I did like how they, you know, incorporated more, you know, sea creatures and animals. And uh, they brought your boy Patrick Woods back, so of course his brother Nicole Kidman was in it. Who else? Uh, you guys, if you haven't have seen it yet, y'all go check out the movie. Old boy from Rocky Three came back. Uh, Ludren, Dolph Ludren, he came back. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty good movie. It was two hours long, but I just didn't like the fact how they, you know, they pigeoned my girl, you know, Amber Heard. Like I said, in my opinion, neither one of them, you know, was innocent. So they both won and lost in the case. They both, you know, won in cases against each other. And so I think with this, um, in my personal opinion, had it not been, if, if it wasn't for, you know, the Me Too movement being as strong as it is today, they more than likely would have replaced that woman, right? So if you guys agree or disagree with that, with me on that, show me again by dropping a comment below or hitting that like button or the subscribe button, <laughs> whatever you might be. Um, but overall, I do say, you know, the movie kept me entertained, uh, kept me, you know, looking at, I didn't fall asleep in the movie theater, thank God. But um, overall, I guess I give it a, I want to give it a 9 out of 10, but since they just flat out killed out Volker, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. <laughs> so with that, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check out Aquaman 2 in the Lost Kingdom, be sure to check it out. It's in the theaters now or eventually it'll be on somebody's streaming app. Um, but again, that's my thoughts and opinions on the review. And if you guys liked it or if you didn't like it, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I do appreciate all the love and support. 
and keep it coming and don't stop. And so, as well as go to my YouTube, excuse me, not my YouTube channel, but my website, differenceworld.net, and again, you can check out all my other social media handles, including my Instagram and my TikTok. I also, anybody looking for motivational speakers, uh, looking to do collaborations with your podcast, whatever the case may be, get at your girl. I'm free of charge as of now. I ain't hard to find. Just go to my website, send me a DM, email, whatever the case may be. Come and learn, yeah? <laughs> as well as, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is also available on my website. And again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, you guys, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come into the kitchen. You'll be all right. Just get you on fire for y'all. That's the point of it all, is to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug and people turn a blind eye to. And so with this book, the way that I've set it up, it's meant to grab your attention in the most uncomfortable way so that you can share your thoughts and opinion and get that ball rolling and, and having these conversations that push towards you know creating systemic change instead of dwelling on systemic racism so again go to my website get your copy of my book and share it with others and again you'll go to differenceworld.net and uh, once you get it like I said uh, share it review it with others and get the word out about it and uh, keep the love coming I appreciate it you guys and so with that being said we're going to move on what else we got going on in difference world you guys what else what else what else uh yeah we closed out the first week in 2024 man a lot of stuff now already popped off man i'm feeling like 2024 is just 2023's part two already um cat williams and uh, uh shannon sharp have done an interview i'm about to go watch that and see what's going on i've been seeing the clips all on instagram today uh man what else uh the the document with the uh what's the old boy Epstein dude that came out, so many names started dropping. Some you shouldn't be surprised, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. So I may do a little uh, uh, pop culture review on that next week. Who knows? So again, that's why you gotta, gotta hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into different world and you come and learn, yeah? Uh, what else we got, what else? Let's go ahead and do our mental health check for those who may need it, including myself. Those out there that may be going through any type of mental anguish, including depression, having suicidal thoughts, anxiety attacks, even bullying, or having a drug relapse, please know that it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you, be it talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, a counselor, picking up a hobby, uh, amending broken bridges, cutting people off, getting on medication, whatever the case may mean, do whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end. Because, excuse me. <laughs> If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, big ups to you guys. Don't forget, you guys can check out incounseling.com. And again, you guys, remember, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it's on you to do your own homework and your own research to find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Yes? All right. And so also with that being said, whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through at this time of your life, please know that this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So therefore, don't do it. All right? So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to bring you back to some positive vibes, close out the mental health check, and move on. Um, again, you guys, don't forget, uh, if you enjoy watching my uh, movie review on the Aquaman 2 in the Lost Kingdom, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, be on the lookout for more content coming. A lot of things coming in 2024, so again, so be on the lookout for it. And so don't forget, with that being said, Anything in life you're feeling that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Dip as well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. <laughs>
What if they kidnap millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.